the show is always on hold because Mrs. Savage needs to get ready all the time. She'll get mad. It's Friday. I'm trying to get laid. Let's go! She said, you don't have to put on a face. Does that mean that I'm dating a different face? I'm not even, I don't even have my game face on. <laughs> I know! Look at me! What's that smell? It's your fucking breath! <laughs> it's your ass! God. Why does it smell? What you say? What's going on? <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> Move over. <laughs> I don't want to sit next Be to you. Be serious. No, I don't want to sit next to you. Be serious. Something's going on. <laughs> Something smells. It does. What's up guys? My name's JC. And I'm Bethany. We are the Salvajes. Savages. Salvajes. Ooh, I look like a movie star. Is it the camera or is it me? It's you. Okay. Thank you. What? I love you. Why? Because you're nice to me sometimes. I'm nice all the time. You're not. You're very, very kind. I know. And that's what we're talking about today, guys. How JC is mean <laughs> and how I'm kind. <laughs> And we're gonna show you the difference. Guys, it doesn't take much to be kind to a person. It's hard sometimes, I get it, but it doesn't take much. And it's one thing that I've actually had to learn really quick and really fast being with Bethany because she's actually very, very kind and has a very big heart. This morning, I was, uh, I got hungry after I ate breakfast and I asked her for a piece of toast and, and I knew I knew in my heart because I know how she is she was gonna give me the one that she had made for her and as soon as she gave it to me she was like here I gave you the one I made for me <laughs> <laughs> but I already knew because I, I had to let it be known I, you know? I, I know how she is she has a very very big heart and uh, you know she's made me want to be kinder and less mad well because it's like, for him, he, you know what the biggest thing is when you assume that somebody is doing something to you? Like Google? Like Google? Yeah, Google's voice. It's racist. Yeah, so he thinks Google voice is racist because whenever he speaks into it, they always end up getting it wrong and saying something different. So then he gave it to me, and I said it, and they got it right. But I'm like, you have to understand it's how you speak. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not the color of your skin. It's not you're Mexican, so they're not understanding you. It's that it's the way you're speaking. It doesn't matter what nationality. What you was are. the name of the restaurant I was looking? Egg and Joe. Okay, so I, I said can... Egg and Joe. Does that sound any different, guys? Egg and Joe. Egg yeah. and Joe. You know what it is? It's how he's saying it when he's so mad. Egg and Joe. <laughs> Egg, Egg and Joe. The first one it said Egg and Joe. <laughs> Then the second one said, Bob and something else. <laughs> it did it. Yeah. It was liar. three times and then you said it and it comes out. Yeah, because I speak proper. What the fuck does that <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm always mad. No, he is. And he also assumes, so look, we'll, we'll go into the gym and we live in Cave Creek. You know, so it's a lot of white people. So we go into the gym, and there are people looking at me, looking at him, and he is getting so mad, saying like, I'm about to say something right now. This is pissed. I'm about to say something. Like, why the fuck are they looking like this? Why the fuck are they this, that? And in my mind, I'm like, okay, it's because you're walking in, like you're big, you're tatted up, so you stand out. You automatically assume it's like, they want, they have a problem with me, they're <laughs> racist, something, <laughs> something's going on. Everywhere we go, it doesn't matter. He automatically assumes that there's 
some type of racism or some type of hate. There's, it's when meanwhile it just has to do with the fact that he stands out. And the same thing for me. Like people are probably looking and they're like, yeah, is what's that? that a, is that, that a man? What's that blonde doing with that Mexican? No, is that a man? <laughs> is that a woman? Is she transgender? You know, because I got a comment. When was it? A couple days ago on that picture that I posted of me with our friend. She was an older lady. And I got a comment on there that said, Oh, it's so good to see transgender now accepted. That was a nice case. I mean, and you know what? It is what it is, but once again, like, why are you taking the time out of your day to write something like that to somebody? And then when it's done to you, you don't like it, you know? So why are we doing it to people? Yeah. It's like, for me, I'm just glad that I just don't give a shit. But there's yeah. people that that would affect bad. I, I've learned that with Beth, that like she, she does it. I don't, I don't know how she blocks it out. I don't know how, but her heart is like, it's crazy big. It's crazy big. And I've had to actually learn to like take it in from her because I mean, we were at the store a couple weeks ago and there was a guy next to us that just kept on staring at me. Like, I, I, he wasn't even playing off. He was like, stare, straight, just zoomed in on me, just staring at me, staring at me. And finally, I was about to turn around and say something to him. And you know what he told me? He's like, hey, I love your shirt. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I felt, I felt like this little. You know, I felt this little because she's always telling me to be like, more kind to be not to get mad be slow to speak and and i'm like you don't know what you're talking about you didn't do 17 years in prison <laughs> I know. that's all he says i'm like oh yeah like i don't have a reason to be mad at the world for things that i've been through you know but you can't you're assuming things that are not true everybody in this world i don't care goes through something and it could be that day you know and so they may just even when they're driving slow in the car and this one is flipping out, screaming because they're taking too long. or They're not the same as you. They're not thinking the same as you. They're not trying to get somewhere even though you have nowhere to go. <laughs> you know, and we're just driving and he is on a mission, you know. So it's just, this message is more for, you know, it, trying to express to people that why are we, why are we so angry? And why are we jumping to conclusions so much and treating people a certain way? And we just need to try, try to be kind. Try to be kind to others. We don't know what they're going through. And you might just piss off the wrong motherfucker too. So yeah. be careful. Oh, that's happened a lot. You know, and you, you have to be careful. In this world, you need to be careful with how you act towards people, the way you speak. It's just, if we all, you know, we're nice to everybody, like, how good would this world be? But that's just not the way that it is. So, the moral of the story is... GC. What? Needs to stop getting so mad. You should have saw him yesterday, how mad he was. And you know what we figured out why? He started yelling at me, and I'm like this, once again. Here we go. And so what did I do? I just ignored him. I ignored him, we got in the house, I walked away. He comes after me, he's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm like, I'm not doing anything. And he's like, uh-huh. All right. I'm like, I know, but what's your issue? I don't know. What? Maybe it's because I, I'm on a diet. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even know why he was mad at me, yelling at me. And it's all because he's hungry. No, I had a bad day yesterday. Yeah. Why? Because I was hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he took it out on me. And I had to sit here and be like, okay. Like... I didn't even do anything and I walked away and then he's thinking like I'm wrong for walking away. Well, that's the right thing to do. The wrong thing to do would be continuing to argue over something that doesn't even, I mean, you're hungry. How do I know? I will try to be less mad There's and no kinder, reason. kinder to others. Is that how you say it? Yeah. I'm going to check on, on Google Voice because... It never comes out right. It's just, why are we so angry? Why are you so angry? You're, you can die tomorrow, and you're gonna die angry. You know? It's no. true. 
We need to stop being so angry. We have no reason. I don't want to die angry. No. I'm actually very, very happy. I don't know why sometimes I let small things get to me or or even people, you know, and I... I... Look at the guy in the line at the, at the store. Remember when the lady was taking so yeah. long? And he was putting his head down, putting his head up, putting his head down because he was trying to go and she was asking questions and he couldn't get checked out. And you were like, I know, but you know. And I'm like, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> You're feeling I was, bad. I you was, were seeing it from the other side. Yes, it's yes. different when you see it from the other side versus that man is you. I was trying to say that, you know, patience is a virtue. <laughs> You are because you're seeing it done on the other side. It's completely different. But when it's being done to you, you don't even think about that person. That lady was like 80 years old. And she didn't understand what she was doing. And she was trying to give her money. You know, and the guy was flipping out. We have no patience in this world. None at all. Well, we live in a world of immediate gratification, so it's yeah. like everything's me, 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 now, 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 and mm -hmm. you know. And I, I used to be an angry person, I did. I was always angry, I would get mad at everything. And finally one day I'm like, why am I doing this to myself? For what? Like, I don't wanna be angry, I wanna be happy all the time. I have no reason to not be happy. Well, babe, I honestly look up to you you are someone that I deeply, deeply admire because the way that you are, your heart, and everything that was done to you, you still are a f like a fucking angel. And I, I love you for that. Thank you. So, yes guys, today, take a minute and be nice to somebody. Give them a hug. Give them a hug. Don't judge nobody. Stay, Stay in your lane. lane. Live savage and remember, you only have one life. What is that? <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I say it up. again. Take a minute today to be kind to somebody and don't judge. Give somebody a hug, stay in your lane, live savage, and remember, you only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. She's copying me. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the rebound. <laughs> <laughs> My name's JC. And I'm Bethany. We are the savages. I chose the life I'm living. Out here trapping, getting it, turning to work the bitches. Oh, I'm just a remnant.